Hey guys, it's Tater here, my guy Henry from Team Montana. Today we're going to go over this beautiful Montana Legacy 3761 FL. So first let's start with the outside of the trailer. Now what separates Montana from other uh, RV brands is that uh, they take safety really seriously. And what they did in this new, this new model is that they have a one piece welded bar that goes all the way across your front chassis. And what that allows is that it allows for a stronger hold because there's no uh, separate parts being welded together. And then it also gives you eight inches more of a turn radius. They, uh, the engineers at, Key at Keystone in Montana realized that people were blowing out their, their rear view, uh, their rear view uh, windows because this bar would stick out a little bit too far front. So what they did is they pushed it, uh, pushed it back and it gives you about eight inches more. Now, Taylor, let's move on to uh, this station. Can you tell me a little bit more about the inverter and what all these disconnects are? Oh, yes, sir, absolutely. All right, so right here we have your inverter, all right? And your disconnect for your inverter is located over here. Right now it's in the off position. This would be in the on position, all right? Up above you have your solar disconnect, all right? And then next to it you have your smart solar charge controller, which is a 30 amp upgraded. Now here you have your regular battery disconnect. You power on, power off, and then if you need to remove the cover. And then right here you have your hydraulic fluid, all right, for your auto leveling and for your slides. Over here is where you put the generator. Uh, some of them come generator prepped. Uh, they all come with this cutout here. However, this one isn't prepped for a generator. When it is, you'll have a little plug here. And then this is for the batteries. When your batteries are here, you can have uh, regular batteries or you can get uh, Dragonfly lithium ion batteries. And then your cover will go as so. Now, Tate, I got a quick question. Yes, sir, I was born this beautiful. <laughs> I know that. Okay. So, this unit comes with a smart solar controller, but does it come with a smart solar prep or does it come with solar panels? Oh, yes, sir, I apologize. It comes with the Protect 220. Gotcha. Uh, and always ready for an upgrade to add more. A uh, great thing about it here with the Montana is that uh, on the 220 Protect, here they include the inverter. Normally it doesn't come with it, it is prepped for it, but here because of the residential fridge, they, they put it in there. So next, looking on the side of your unit, you got your tight, your Lippert Titan leveling system. Now what's really cool about this is that it makes it super easy. Here you can extend your landing gear if you were to uh, hitch, and here you can retract your landing gear if you're already hitched up to your truck. And you have this auto level option that will auto level your trailer to get it all set and prepped. So really all you gotta do is press auto level, take a step back, and let the, uh, let the magic happen, you know? And then next we got right here, we have more instructions about the Lipper uh, Titan leveling system. And we have QR codes right here that allow you to, you know, download the app so you can uh, retract, extend all straight from your phone, which is like a really cool option because you can watch everything that's happening all the way around your trailer. It kind of takes like the stress away from, you know, weird noises, you know, if there's a weird noise, press pause, go take a look, check it out, really easy. Then next you have your propane station. So this, uh, the Montana Legacy comes with two propanes. Uh, located one here on the door on off door side and then one right exactly on the other side on the off door side Now Tater, can you uh, go in a little bit more in depth about the uh, outside compartments? Absolutely. All right, so right here. We have a portable little hookup for Made by Dometic Zamp Solar. They like you to use that All right right here. You have a little hookup for outside shower Here you have your freeze guard winterizing system your hot water heater bypass is located here. So convenient, no more climbing behind things. Yeah, don't have to drill out a panel to reach to the water heater, right? Heard, we know all about that. Mm -hmm. And you got your winterize here, your on or off. Below here is your city water connection. Great thing here about this is you have one inlet for your um, potable water, for your fresh water and your city. You see here how it says your tank fill, normal flow or fill. When you fill your fresh water tank, you're gonna wanna pop this down here. When you're finished filling it, you're gonna wanna put it back up here so you can use your water pump. This right here is for your tank flush, uh-huh, and then this one over here is for your other black tank flush. Did you have your low points located here, easy and convenient. Data, why'd they put that uh, solar panel connect on, on the side of the unit? So this right here is just for the portable, so if you, uh, let's say you haven't made it over to uh, TRRV sales, that's us, uh, so go ahead and get you another additional solar panel put on. You can go ahead and take a portable one here, put it off to the side, and just let the sun get it. Nice, nice. Heard. You also have 
It's also ready for the uh, rooftop satellite prep, which is located here. All right. And when that happens, when you get the satellite, he'll hook everything else up for you. You don't got to worry about anything. It's easy peasy, baby. Now, Taylor, what's special about these water lines? I heard that they were actually inside the unit or above the uh, underbelly. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they're insulated underneath the low. Um, so no freezing, no anything. With that being said, uh, if you're not using it in the wintertime, you do want to drain all the water lines and winterize it. Now, Taylor, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. This is for the fresh water. So um, when you over when you overfill it, when you're if you overfill your tank, and you're not watching inside, checking all right your levels. Uh, the water will start to come out here. Don't freak out. That's what it's supposed to do. So this is a tater tip right here. I usually charge three dollars a piece, but today I'll give it to you guys for free. So you can take this little filter out right here. All right, call this like the gravity fill. So you can take a funnel jug and pour the water in there. Nice. So it's an alternative option. Yes, Henry, it is. Perfect. And then this is your furnace right here. Oh yes. So um, I tell customers this all the time, very important. It gets hot back here, so you try to keep the uh, kids away from it so it doesn't get they don't get burnt or anything, unless you don't like them, and then you give them a little shove. <laughs> now what's really cool about this Montana Legacy package is that all the tires on the Montana comes with a TPMS, or a tire pressure monitoring system, which really just gives the driver a little bit more awareness, you know, are my tires filled, gives that, you know, safety aspect to the traveling. And what's also really nice is that the Montana Legacy comes with the uh, Road Armor trailer leaf springs. And basically what that does, it takes the, the kind of like the violence out of those road vibrations and those potholes that you might hit. It makes, uh, you know, if you have pots or pans or dishes inside or electronics like TVs that you're worried about might be breaking or might break when you're going down the road, that kind of takes like the ease of mind off of it, you know? All right, like absorbs the shock. <laughs> now moving on, we have our, uh, our black and gray tank flushes. Now what's really nice is that it, they're all located in one spot, which is, which, you know, might not seem convenient at first, but what's, when, you had, when you really look back at it, it means it all comes out of one spot, right? Instead of having two uh, places where your gray tank comes out and then a place where your black tank comes out, it all comes out of this one spot and it's located in the back. So when you're, uh, you pull into the campground and you're hooking it up, you know, typically your sewer, uh, your sewer connection to the campground is going to be right here, which just makes it super convenient, short, takes a little bit of the headache out of it. Now, Taylor, can you tell me a little bit more about this power connection and why it's special to the Montana Legacy package? Absolutely. Right here, you're going to have your power cord reel, all right? And as I pull this out, you see? So we don't have to, like, have a big old cord dragging it around everywhere. And then when I want to bring it back in, I just retract it right here. Um, and it runs off the 12 volt. So you don't need to be connected to the campground or anything? No, I just need to have that drink in my hand. Now, Tater, tell me a little bit more about this water here. I heard that Montana has a different water here than compared to other brands. Oh, uh, yes, sir. All right, so the difference right here, what it is, this is a 16-gallon hot water heater tank, uh, biggest in the industry. Um, a lot of other competitors are using uh, tankless hot water heaters. This one right here, you can use gas or electric, and the great thing about it being 16 gallons is that you won't have to have a tankless one. You don't need that much hot water. Now, what's special about this floor plan in particular, the 3761 FL, is that because the front or the living room is located in the front, you get so much storage in the back. I mean, tater, how much storage? Like 10 or 11 taters worth of storage, I'm telling you. That's a lot of taters. And so, like, right here, this might seem like a small area, but if you come out to the, the back of the rear of the trailer, you get way more. You know, you could fit suitcases, you could fit, uh, you know, tuck or bins in here. I mean, there's just. I mean, you could literally take a nap. What are you, five, five? Five, one and a half, thank you, Henry, for that. Oh, man, <laughs> way off. And then what's also nice about the Montana Legacy Package is that it comes with the Furion backup system. There you go, talk about it. Uh-huh, and so, you know, when you're backing into that camp spot, once again, ease of mind, right? And it comes with, it also, or what also comes with the Montana Legacy Package is those uh, side cameras as well. We'll get to those and we'll show you where those are in a little bit. And then as we make our way around to the side of the trailer, once again, so much storage. And what I really like is that you can see through it. You know, you can see through the storage. You can see how much you're taking up, you know? I dig it. And then, you know, way more storage right here too. You kind of get a good, that nice open layout. You can even feel the breeze from the other side. That's super oh, nice. Cool as a fan. Cool as a fan. Now, located up top, here's your two awnings. And what's really cool about these two awnings, you know, you got an awning right here, and you got an awning over there. You got, it's like an extended patio space almost. Is there a spot that we could stand underneath here in the sun would bother us if we had these awnings on? I don't even think so, right? No, they're, they're enormous, they're massive, and they 
go out way further than you think. So as promised, uh, we have our Fury on, we're getting to our Fury on side cameras. Now what's really nice about this is that it shows, you know, the blind spots of the trailer. But uh, what like one of my favorite features about it is that when I'm backing up, right? And I'm backing up and I got my, my trucks cranked this way and my trailer's pointed this way. That blind spot mirror doesn't exactly capture everything that's going on from this point all the way to the, the back end of your trailer. And what that allows is that ease of mind, you know, am I gonna hit something? What's there, you know? Like I hate not knowing what's gonna be there. Now right here, we got our, our door side propane tank. And then right here, more storage space, baby. Now, uh, Tanner, what, what, what are these two uh, things in here? Yes, sir. All right, so this right here is your surge protector. All right, built-in surge protector. This right here is a brain for your in-command system. And right up here is the central vac. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, before we're about to go inside, let me show you a couple other things. We have the great stairs here. Easy assist, check this out. Look at that. And we have our great hand bar here. See this, it comes down and extends, really. All right. So yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but I love my gammy. And if my gammy's coming in here, I want her to definitely be able to grab onto something and hold it and know that she's okay, safe, and secure. And then right here, you're gonna go ahead and see our Protect Solar. Our Solar Flex Protect, I apologize, 220. As promised, when we do a walkthrough, we're gonna show you everything. And right now, we're on the rooftop of this beautiful 3761 FL. Now right here, we have our solar panels right here. That's part of the 220 Protect Package. And what's cool is that, the, the protect pad or the solar panel the solar panel uh, package you can upgrade as many times or you can upgrade you know to a 440 if you want a 660 a 1320 and all you got to do is come in and place more solar panels on the rooftop and that way you can be a little bit more sustainable and it also uh, allows for campsite flexibility you know you want to go live out in the wilderness you don't want to stay at a campsite no big deal solar panels got to go now behind hayden here we have our first ac that would be located in the Nice big old AC. And right here, we got our fan or our vents for the kitchen. We have our Climb Guard Air 360 Plus uh, satellite dish. Another uh, vent, I believe that goes to the, the first bathroom, right? And then we, right here, we have two vents. Uh, these would be for like your, you know, your stoves or, you know, allows heat to come out. Another AC right here. really nice is this skylight color so it comes with two skylights you have your outer and then your inner and it just provides a little bit more protection you know tree branch falls on it only hits the first skylight no big deal 22 dollar part good to go all right now inside this beautiful legacy we got we're going to first look at our in command and right here this is like the one-stop shop for anything you know you want to turn on your lights water heater exterior lights you want to move your slides all done right here awnings everything now we do have a YouTube video up right now that goes in depth about how to use the in-command system as well as like special features that the app provides. Uh, so go check that out. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, leave it down in the comments and we'll get that answered for you. And then also right here, we have our heated holding tanks. So when you're in here during the winter season and you're worried about your tanks uh, freezing up, you don't have to worry about it. You just can flip all these switches on and it, uh, it heats them so that they don't freeze. And then right here, you have your switches for uh, some lights and then you have your surge protector uh, light when it shows when you've uh, tripped the surge protector that's uh, hooked up outside, right? Yes, sir, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Now, as we move up towards the front, towards the front living room, we have, you know, beautiful seating area. Uh, oh, it's comfy. Yeah, super comfy. We have our JBL speakers and we have our TV. Now, Tater, can you tell me a little bit more on how to use all these features as well as like, uh, like does the TV lower? Oh, yes, sir. So we have a switch right in here. It's almost like James Bond, right? Yeah. And you get that beautiful view out front. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh you're beautiful too, Tater. Thank you, I appreciate it. And then you just hit it back and it'll come back up. Mm-hmm. Man, think about all the storage space that gives you, you know? When you have people over and you just want, you know, TV to be away. You got so much area that you can just, you know, put picture or like a, uh, picture frames up, anything really. A hundred, and it could just be the girl part of me saying this, but no clutter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Clean lines and good. Just looks real slick and clear. Yeah, the wireless. Yeah, I like how there's no wires like sticking out in weird spaces. Yeah, that's definitely a nice feature. 
And then the JBL system is beautiful too. What's really cool about this JBL system, right, is that it comes with uh, two speakers up front, a speaker located in the back towards the bathroom, and two speakers located outside. And you can control those speakers by turning on these zones. So zone A would be like your front living room, zone B would be your uh, bathroom, and zone C would be outside. Oh, look at Uh huh. And we got we do have a YouTube video up about the JBL uh, speakers on our YouTube like, um, as well. And we go in a little bit more depth about the 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 my zone feature, uh, and as well as how to use it, how to hook a you know a PlayStation or an Xbox up to it so you can play that. And then last but not least, we have our fireplace. Now this fireplace is super pretty. One thing to note is that it doesn't run off your inverter, so you have to be plugged in at a campground in order to use it, unless you have that 1320 uh, Solar Flex Protect package, or not sorry, not Solar Flex Protect. Solar Flex Outlast Extreme package, you know, but that's just because you have a bigger, bigger battery bank and has enough power to uh, power all the units inside, all the sorry, all the outlets inside your unit as well as this fireplace. Now, one thing I want to hit on is these uh, these windows. All the windows comes with two blinds. You have like this first kind of takes like the the sun out of it, but you can still look out. It's almost like a tent almost. And then your second blind would be this black line that totally uh, blocks out all the sunlight, which, you know, is kind of a cool feature. You know, you want a little bit more dimmer in here. You don't want people looking inside your trailer. That's no big thing. Yeah, you could just pull down this, this like, it's almost like a security blind. Yes, sir, mm -hmm. I, I do believe they say the day and night shade. Oh, what they call that's them. what they call them, day yeah. and night shade. I, I like that. that. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the couches and why all these couches are different, but also why they all serve a different purpose. Now, these couches, right to the, they're the hide beds or uh, yeah, hide bed couches, and they're super easy to fold out. In fact, Tater and I are gonna do it right now, right here. First, you're gonna rip off all your, your uh, top couch cushions. Second, you're gonna grab from underneath, you're gonna pull out, flip out these legs, bada boom, bada bang, lay it down, and then fold this down. You gotta give it a real push. Yep. Now it's perfect. You can. And what's cool is that the couch that uh, Hayden's standing behind right now it does the exact same thing. So you can fit realistically two people here, two people here, and then all, the, all of a sudden you have six people that can stay in your uh, trailer now. Hurry if you want them there. Yeah, true if you want them. And actually, I actually have this couch in my apartment and I love it. I have friends over all the time and it's like super convenient. I just whip it out. My friends can stay on, stay over in my my little my little studio apartment. It's just, it's awesome, really. I love it. But then, and then also, the putting it back together, super easy, right? Flip the legs in, bada boom, bada bang, and then we'll just put these cash fishies back on. Like butter. Like butter. What's also really nice is that they come with these uh, USB-C side ports. So, you know, when people are staying over, they want to charge their phone, they can do that. And you can even charge your phone on the recliner chairs as well. So Shut up. We don't have the inverter uh, turned on right now, partially because we don't have uh, enough batteries for it, but, or enough battery power. But right here, we, you can have, you have your first 12 volt USB uh, port, and then you have all these different features. So these are pre-programmed. You can have it sit straight up by pushing that button, or you can have it all the way extended out, or you can do it to your liking, you know? If you just wanna set it to however you want, you can do that. And then this middle button right here, is like a reset. It takes it right back to sitting up straight. All right, now let's move on to the kitchen. Oh, and then one more thing we forgot to mention. Right here, your breaker box or your fuse box, you know? When a, when a fuse blows or if you need to see if a, a fuse tripped, super easy to, you know, flip on, flip off, and then, uh, these are actually your, your fuses. Right, and uh, let's also not forget, uh, we also have a red indicator light up here. Uh, so if your fuse does blow, you don't uh, pop, I guess you could say, blow, pop, however you say. Uh, you don't have to look to see which one or try to figure it out. You'll know right there at the red light. Okay, now that we're in the kitchen, we're going to start on this little, this countertop space right here. It comes with lots of, lots of areas for storage. You know, you can put like... Uh, pots, pans, anything you really want down there, and it's nice. It goes d uh, deep in there, too. Now, this area has the option for a TV setup. Right here, you have your key TV uh, plugs in, plug-ins for your satellite, and then you also have a 110 outlet that you can plug in, which is really nice. And then this piece right here is for uh, when you're traveling down the road. There's a, uh, a screw-in right here that you can screw this in, and it just keeps your refrigerator shut. But we took it out so we can show you the, the inside of the reefer. 
And then right here, this is where you can control your max air uh, air vents. So you can turn the vent on and you can hear it going on. And really, if you just press the on button, it'll do everything for you. It turns on the fan speed, opens it up, and gets the, the room a little bit less stuffy, right? Yes, sir. Let's, uh, let's also not to forget the uh, rain sensor on it. As you can see up here where the umbrella is, the little blue sticker, that's a rain sensor. So what that means is if it starts raining, it's going to sense that it rains, and it's going to shut for you. That's awesome. Isn't it? Yeah, the peace of mind, you know? It peace is. Peace of mind. Now we'll turn this off. And then also one thing to mention right here, this measures the, this is like a, this is a thermostat. So it measures the temperature inside your unit. So then when you're setting it, uh, send the AC temp, it'll show you what the current temp inside your unit is. Now, moving on to the fridge. This is an inverted fridge, so it runs off a of battery. You don't have to be hooked up, you know? Nice. Which is real, it was a really nice uh, feature. And one thing to mention is that it's a residential fr uh, fridge. It's not a, a standard RV fridge. Right here, Hayden, what you're looking at is the water. Nice. You got an ice tray down there. Deep freezer storage, too. Awesome. A lot of meat. A lot of meat, yeah. Next, we have our Furion uh, stovetop and oven. Now, Taylor, can you take this away and tell me more about it? Yes. I don't know if you guys happen to notice me hit the lights. Look how bougie that is, right? Check it, it out. It's so that. clean. And the great thing about this, all right, when you go and you turn it on, air in the lines yes but you see i don't have there's no other little clicker it's all here mm -hmm. oh i see what you mean you don't have to light it or yeah you hold down the, the ignite gentlemen do we know why why oh we do that so i got that drink in that hand mm -hmm. you know it's right boozing it up everybody boozing it up over here we have all of our remotes all right we'll give you a nice little silverware thing and then all of our owner owner's manuals for everything Pop Heard. Wow, so this is a, another nice, convenient, like, uh, 110 outlet and USB port. Yes, sir, and if you look, you'll see over here how it's labeled. So this is an inverted outlet. Oh, it will wow. run off the inverter. And what's really cool is they, uh, I think they added the, the lightning, or the USB-C lightning ports, too. For oh, down here. Those new iPhone chargers. Oh! That's nice. What a nice touch. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. It also comes with the microwave, too. That's real nice. Big microwave. Uh, I do believe that this is one of those con the convection oven, not just a regular microwave, because it has one of these. This silver stuff. Oh, so it's dual function. It serves as like a conventional oven too. It yes, it uh, you can bake, you can roast. Oh, so technically you have two ovens in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who does that? Montana. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, right here would be your bathroom for you know your guests if you don't want them traveling up to your your uh, your bedroom bathroom, but it's just a nice. Uh, Pretty convenient uh, little bathroom. Now, another another nice touch about yeah, you're good. You're good. Another nice touch is this uh, dining room table. Now, it looks like it only fits two people, and it would be really hard to fit a fourth. But it actually has a, a, a um, what do you call it, ta uh, tater like a leaf that you can pop out. Yes. Mhm. Mm Just by sliding those two out, popping this up. And laying it down. Nice 100, and man. And then we get the other two chairs, invite our friends, and we're busting some spades. Mm -hmm. And every Montana comes with four chairs. So these two come with it. These they stay strapped down. And you have two foldable chairs that look uh, identical to it. But those are located underneath your, uh, your bed for extra storage space. So now we're going to head back to the master bedroom. And then if you notice, we have to walk upstairs to get to the master bedroom. And if you remember early in the video, we showed you that, those outside compartments. And that's where those are located. And that's what gives you that kind of extra space, the extra storage space. Now let's head on up. Now what's really nice about this master bedroom, it comes with a big old bed. But it also comes with these uh, 110 outlets. And I believe these are inverted outlets as well. So. When you're sleeping up here, you can use the USB ports and these outlets. And what's really nice is that they come with these uh, reading lights that have that serve uh, that have like two different features to it. You can turn them off. You can turn on just this light. Kind of acts as like a you know a mood lighting. Yeah, or I wouldn't say mood lighting, but if you were to wake up in the middle of the night trying to get to the bathroom, not trying to wake up the missus or Mister, just tap it once, or you just tap it once and it turns on. And then here you have your reading light, which is nice. And then you tap it again. And it's off. 
And then one more thing to mention is that this is the uh, new headboard that's a part of the new uh, 2024 Legacy. And it's super nice. It's actually got mem like almost a memory foam like uh, uh, texture to it. It's just, so it's a softer headboard. Yeah, softer headboard, and a little less firm. And then right behind Hayden would be a, a, the the closet in the master bedroom. And Taylor, do you want to go in a little bit more in depth about the the closet? Absolutely. I'll show you here for the washer and the dryer hookup back here and you have outlets to be able to plug them in you have some storage space up here be able to hang your clothes and then you also have a motion sensor light nice no night no light switch no not at all yeah and then um, to make our way or and then here you have uh of course your kind of like dresser storage and then extra storage right here if you were to fold shirts or pants or stuff stuff like that or you could even put uh you don't even have to put clothes in there put anything you want now, lastly, in the, the master bathroom, I'll get it out of the way real quick. We have that really nice shower. And the shower in this, in this uh, the Montana Legacy is just super nice. You get three spots where water can, or four really, that can potentially shoot out. You have the top, you have these two middle uh, spouts, and then you have the, the, mo the mobility spout that you can uh, take off the wall, use it however you want. And what I also like here is, is the, like the Mr. and Mrs. Sink, you know. There's two sinks. Mr. and Mrs., huh? Yeah. Or Mrs. and Mrs. I'm just saying. <laughs> Whichever way you want to swing. I guess. <laughs> you got some nice storage up here as well. And like more storage everywhere, really. And what's also nice too, it comes with a sliding glass or not a sliding glass, but just a sliding door. Uh, and it's on a it's on like a barn door feature almost. If Hayden comes out, you can see a little bit better, but all you gotta do is uh, before you uh, take off on the road, very important that you do hook this up though. That's kind of like one of those things that if you don't catch it and you're going down the road and you take a sharp turn, that's going to hit this wall real hard. And then you'll have to come back here for a visit, but not a good one. All right, guys, that concludes our walkthrough for the 3761FL Montana Legacy. Uh, we really appreciate you guys watching it. Of course, if you have any questions or comments or if there's something that you want us to cover again or that we didn't cover that you want to know, let us know because we'll get to it right away. Taylor, do you have anything to add? Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, we'll get better. <laughs>